Uh, hi everyone, it's Alice and this video is about about death. A couple of thoughts about death here. I might get rained out. I can hear the thunder. And I was just walking along and I found a really good place to sit here. Nice. Yeah, um, death. I was thinking every great cycle of humanity, well, even medium grade, it's like 26,000 years. So if we've been around for 26,000 years off and on, reincarnated and dying and reincarnating, I think that's about a thousand times going, passing and coming back again, just one 26,000 year cycle. And I'm wondering why I'm not that good at it, considering how much practice I must have had. <laughs> and I was also thinking that in this Western society, um, death is kind of like when, you're, when you have a house and it's a far piece from the railroad track, but you can hear every once in a while, you can hear the train tooting and going by. And when you live there after the first time or two, just like after the first time we experience death in this, in this lifetime, say the death of a pet or the death of a family member or friend, the same way as with that, that um, railroad, hearing that railroad whistle, we stop noticing after a while and, and, and in the back of our minds, in the subconscious mind, we're we may hear the whistle and we may be thinking, wow, I wonder who's taking off this time, you know? And I'm not on that train, but one day I'll be on it. But in our conscious minds, we're thinking about work or, you know, dinner or something. <laughs> something else. We, we don't give death a whole heck of a lot of thought. And so, um, I, ha I had an idea to prepare for death. And fortunately, this idea also works to prepare for a happier life. So I thought I'd tell you about it. It's, a, it's what you might call a visualization. And what you do is you imagine a globe of golden light about a foot over your head. Just imagine it, visualize it. And place your awareness there, a foot over your head. Okay. And then imagine that the golden light from that globe is flowing down all through your physical body, all the way down to the ground and glowing all around you. Keep your awareness up there, about a foot above your head, okay? But feel the light flowing all around your body, all around your uh, skin, inside your body, all the way down to your feet, all right? And, and do that once a day. And I think what you'll find is that um, I'd like to know what you find, but what I found was that I stopped worrying so much about my physical embodiment and I started realizing that my true uh, nature lay in my awareness, not, my, not in my brain, not in my body, but in my awareness. And my thought is that not only will this help in day-to-day -day, um, stressful situations, but but the, the ultimate test is 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 passing. So when we get near to to passing, if we have that tool, that tool of of knowing what we really are, then it won't be much of a scary experience, don't you think? It'd be more like a float down the stream. <laughs> It'd be like getting on that train and going to some resort town. <laughs> well, so take a little vacation then come back to the the hard knocks. <laughs> All right, that's it. Love you a lot. Talk to you later. So I was just sitting on those rocks a minute ago talking and look now I'm not there. I'm someplace else. Sure looks beautiful here anyway. 
So I thought I'd sing you, I'm sitting on the bench to tell the truth. And I thought I'd sing you a song from my childhood, only one chorus. And it goes like this. this. <laughs> Swing low, sweet chariot, come for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, come for to carry me Coming for to carry me home, swing low, sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home, swing low, sweet chariot. Coming. For to carry me home, swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. I looked over Jordan, and what did I see? Coming for to carry me. Coming after me, coming for to carry me home. Sweet Lord, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me Coming for the cat.